Good morning, y'all. It is early here. We are out early because we got storms on the way. It's actually stopped raining for a few days around here, but there's more rain coming today. I have got to get a cow milk, and then we have got a job to complete pretty quickly before the rain gets here. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Sit down. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, it's so pretty. Come on, Josie. Woo. Come on. Come with me. Good girl. Good girl. I'm trying to see if I can call her all the way over here. She's even in the wrong pasture. I put Josie's baby up. You can see Miracle's baby, Hope, behind Josie, but Josie's baby's over here in the crowd. Hopefully, she's going to come all the way over here. Woo! Finally got her. Hey, pretty girl. You've been in the mud. So let's get her milk and we can move on to other stuff. Got it done. And mom and daughter are back together again. On to the next job. Whew. My apologies. Andrew was out there in the milk barn milking and uh, I had one thing on my mind. Start getting these potatoes plowed up. We got rain coming. I was in a little bit too big of a hurry and did not wait on her, didn't even think about it, to bring the camera out. So I've made one pass down through here and we have got potatoes everywhere. Look at them. Potato, 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 potato. We, I have been sitting in this one spot here for uh, probably five minutes, digging around in the, yep, see? Digging around in the dirt. And there's just potatoes everywhere. I don't know. That's not a potato. Nope, not a potato. There's one. Even them right there, baby potatoes, new potatoes, and some fresh green beans. Nope. I guess we're gonna to need to be cautious, not confuse an egg for a potato. I'm gonna get busy. So Ben is finishing up the potatoes. I'll give you all a final count on that in a minute. We're gonna clean this area up, but I've got one more job to do today. I am gonna harvest this garlic. You can see it's turning yellow. That's a pretty good indicator. It's ready. I'm gonna get that pulled up. Uh, and then onions will be shortly behind that here in a few days. If it doesn't start raining on me, I may pull them right now, get them laying out to dry. So. Let's get busy. So this is the final tally. Four bushels that are completely full and a five gallon bucket and almost another five gallon bucket. 
Okay, so the final tally is in. Off of one 100 foot row in the garden this year, we wound up with about 350 pounds of potatoes. So you can see how nice and cleaned up that area is. So thrilled to have that area back. Ben has already tilled it with the tiller killer. I'll link that video now. And he's actually moved it over away from the fence. That was a lesson learned. He couldn't get to that side of the mound to properly um, plow that up with the plow when we were digging potatoes. So he did a lot of that side by hand, lots of work. So he moved it over so that when we plow sweet potatoes, he can get to the entire mound. I really, really think this is our best garden ever. That was by far the best potato harvest we've ever had. And you can see behind me how deep and dark and rich that dirt is. I really think that's the key. I have properly fed this entire garden, depending on what plant it is, with what it needs. As far as the potatoes, that was just really good, loose, rich soil. Potatoes love really rich soil. They thrive in that. This was right out of our compost pile out in the cow pasture. Uh, really, really rich. It might have been too rich for some other plants, but the potatoes did really well. All right, on to the next job, right? Yay. So we are going to get our garlic uh, pulled up. You can see it's ready because it's starting to turn yellow. And then we're also gonna pull onions. So we got the potatoes took care of. The steaks are in the ground, good. What we're gonna do, as you can see, Ben is pulling steaks up. We're gonna pull that piece of fabric up. We're gonna lift it up and we're going to snip the garlic and onions off, pull, dig them out the bottom. And then we will tack this back down and, and plant something else. So you can see some of these have little, what look like baby garlics on them. Those are called corms. Those are only on, I believe elephant garlic and which is not actually technically garlic, uh, but I made a whole video about those. If you're interested in those, I'll link that right here. So that is the onion harvest. This is a bushel basket. So this is a lot of onions. Look at that whopper. I'm nasty. There was multiple ones that big. That is an enormous onion. Again, I just really think it's because we have fed these plants. Um, it doesn't have to be anything crazy outrageous. It can be compost tea. It can be um, just organic fertilizer from the store. But you can see we've never grown onions like this uh, by far. Garlic did amazing. I'm gonna go get these spread out. We hit a couple, but those will kind of scab over and um, then they'll break off into cloves after they've dried a bit. Super pleased with this as well. Love storing up all this food. Just, it's a good feeling this day and time. Last thing now, going back down it, tacking it back down, aren't you? <laughs> Trying to. It's ground so hard because it hasn't been worked. Right. Uh, it has packed down, hasn't it? It has packed down good good but there's one thing about it is when it's tilled up these stakes won't hold and the wind blows them up so this should not blow up see how they're doing you get down so far and then they just one good thing about them bending over like that you got more surface area and that's going to hold the fabric down a lot better i've got a long ways to go so that is it we're wrapping this up thanks for hanging out with us and we will see you guys on the next one if you're interested in ordering meat from us we are shipping chicken and pork right now we'd love to ship you some check out our online store vwfamilyfarm.com there is a shop button that'll take you to our online store or i can just link the store below i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching god bless mm -hmm.